Hello, my name is Kishwani. It's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 143. Day, day 3143. 3 is to signify the fact that we, are in the, that we are in the third edition. Third edition, day 143. We are working on the practice test that you will find at the end of the book on page number 363. Please turn to page 363. Make sure the book is in front of you. Turn to page 363, section number 6. And on that page, you will see question number 9, the very last problem, the very last quantitative, quantitative comparison problem. That's what we're going to pick up from because yesterday we did we stopped at question number eight. So as you can see, the problem is already on the blackboard. It says in a set of 24 integers, 12 of them are less than 50 and 12 of them are more than 50. And the question simply is, how does the median of these 24 integers compare to 50? That's all it is. So let's see what we can do. Let's let's make up some numbers so that so that uh, 12 of them are going to be less than 50. 12 have to be less than 50, half of them are going to be less than 50, and the other half have to be more than 50. Do you understand? Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. So we can have, say for example, uh, 48, 49, uh, 51, 52, and this is going to continue. So this is this is 2, we need, we need 10 more, all the way up to 62, and here we need 10 more, it's going to start at 38. You understand? It's going to start at 38 because we have 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, and then it will pick up from 48. Now what we need to understand, so we have 12 on this side which are most, which are less than 50, and we have 12 on this side which are more than 50. But what we need to understand here is that we are interested in the median. And since there are 24 integers, since there's an even number, median is simply the average of the middle two here. It's the average of the middle two. So whether we have whether we have 12 integers on, on, on the left hand side and 12 integers on the right hand side, or if we simply have, or if we simply have instead of 12, if we simply have two on the right hand side and two on the left hand side, it doesn't change anything. The median is not going to change because median is simply the average of the middle two. So Let's not worry about 24 integers. Let's pretend that in a set of four integers. Let's just make up our own problem. Set of four in a set of four positive integers, two of them are less than 50, and two of them are more than 50. Because as we just saw, it's not going to change anything. Having 12 on this side and having 12 on that side, the median would still be the average of these two. The average of 49 and 50, the median here, median here is 50. Which is 49 divided 40, 49 plus 51 divided by 2, and that part would not have changed whether we have 10 more on this side and 10 more on that side, or whether we have 10,000 more on this side and 10,000 more on that side. As long as the as long as the middle two numbers are 49 and 51, that's all it matters here, and that's the way we arranged it. So in this scenario, the median is 50, and we are being asked to compare it against the quantity in column B, which is also 50. Are you with me so far? So the answer in this scenario is C. Okay? Let's make up another scenario. Let's make up another scenario and this time I'm going to do it on the top because I don't want to go too much down here. So let's do it on the top. Again we're looking, so we have, we do not have 24 integers. We only have 4 integers. And this time, let's make up numbers, 4 numbers. So we're going to have 48, 49, 51 and 52. Well, the same 4 number as that one. But let's make one change, okay? Let's make one change. Instead of 48, 49, 51, 52, let's, instead of 49, let's say 49 and a half. That's what it is. Now, the median, what is median? What is the median here? But that's just it. You must understand that that is not the question, that is not the sort of questions we should be asking ourselves in the exam. We do not care what is median now. What we do care, the only, because these questions are called quantitative Comparison, as I remind you over and over and over again, every time we do this quantitative comparison question, I remind you that these questions are called quantitative comparison. 
not computation. We are not here to compute anything. We just want to see how the two quantities compare, quantitative comparison. It doesn't matter what the median of 49 and a half and 51 is. What matters is that before the median was 50 and now it is not. Before, one more time, before the median was 50, in which case the answer was C, now the median is not 50 and therefore, therefore, the answer is not C. Before it was C, answer is not C. I'm, I'm going to erase it and rewrite it because usually I don't put two, two cross. Two cross makes it sound like it's wrong. Usually when I'm doing my own work, I simply cut it, cross it out like this. That means before it was C, now it's not C. It doesn't matter now whether it's A or B or Obviously, it's not going to be D. It doesn't matter what it is. The point here is, we had one answer before, now we have another answer. Therefore, the correct answer is D. Do you understand? Not that it, not, not, not that it matters, not that it matters too much. It, does, it doesn't take more than a few seconds. It doesn't take more than a split couple of seconds to figure out what the median is going to be. And it's very simple. If you wanted to figure out, if you wanted to figure out, now the median is going to be, you see, 40, 49 and 51, the median was 50. We just insert it half. That half, when you divide by 2, it's just going to become a quarter. 50 and a quarter. So if it's 50 and a quarter versus 50, 50 and a quarter versus 50, now the answer is A. Before 50 versus 50 and a quarter, the answer is A. But we're not going to do that work. We're not, we're not interested in whether it's A or B. All we are interested in is that it is not C. It is not C because the median is not 50. Do you understand? That's it, we are done. The answer is D. The answer is D. Let me look at the percentile. It turns out that almost, almost seven tenths of the people, I was going to say two thirds, but two thirds is also correct. More than two thirds, as a matter of fact. More than two thirds of the people, more than two thirds of the people got this question wrong. Fewer than one third, fewer than one third, about three tenths got it right. Let's do the next one, number 10. Number 10 on the next page, page number 364, which is no longer a quantitative comparison question. We are back to the ordinary multiple choice question, and let's see what we can do. In number 10, we are told that we have a fabric. We are told that the fabric sells for $8 per yard. We are further told that we can only buy we can only buy by a full yard. In this shop, if you go to in the shop and you tell them that I want three quarter of a yard or a nine tenth of a yard, they won't sell it to you. They don't sell three quarters, they don't sell half a yard. If you want to buy a fabric from us, you gotta buy full yard. One yard, two yard, twenty yards, twenty-two yards, but we will not sell you twenty-two and a quarter yard. We have to buy it by a full yard. With me so far? It goes on to say that we need we need 1.6 yard per curtain. As you will see in a second, this is much ado about nothing. It's a very straightforward question, but I have to I have no choice. I have to put it on the blackboard. We need to make we need to make we are told three curtains. Question simply is how much money are we going to spend? Let's do it. We are done with this part and part. We no longer need it. Let's get rid of it. So let's do it very quickly. Well, we need one, 1 1.6 yards per curtain and we need to make three curtains. I didn't have to put the unit, it's a waste of time to put the unit. Don't put the unit in the exam. Let's not do it in so you don't have to be so so nitty gritty. We are gonna we, we're gonna make three curtains, we're gonna make three curtains and each one of them takes 1.6 yards. So we, this is how many yards we need. This is how many yards we need. 3 times 1.6, 3 times 16 is 48, so it's 4.8 yards. 4.8 yards is what we need to make our three curtains. We can't buy 4.8 yards, which means we need to buy, we need to buy 5 yards. And each yard costs $8. Each yard costs $8. We're just going to spend 5 times 8. I'm going to start explaining everything too much. 5 times 8 is just we're going to spend $40. We're going to spend forty dollars. I do not know why something as simple as that, and yet a third of the people who took the exam, a third of the people, almost a third of the people who took the exam, somehow managed to muck it up, muck it up with an M, as in Mary, not 
F, you understand? That's it. Uh, I want to stop here. We're just going to do two problems. Only because the next one that we have to do, number 11, is the pure hell. And we're going to do that problem all by itself because it's going to take some time. Alright? Let me just take a look at it, what it was. Oh yes, it's a geometry problem, number 11. We'll do it together tomorrow. Okay? Bye now.